continuing the alternating theme of arts, we have Annabelle Fleming. Annabelle's passion for Annabelle's passion for fashion led her to study fashion design at Ryerson University and eventually work for Abercrombie and Fitch in Cotton Candy. Currently, she works at the brand manager for Parks Canada Shop. Whenever you're ready, Annabelle. Thanks for that introduction. I'm just going to share my screen. Can everyone see my screen? Yeah, okay. So hi, I'm Annabelle. Um, I just wanted to walk you through how I went from uh, life at Cameron to where I'm at now in my career and just share some insights on the fashion and marketing path if you're interested in doing that, as well as just um, insights and information that I would have wanted to know uh, when I was in high school. So Cameron Heights is such an amazing school. The diversity and, it ha and the diversity allowed me to be my weird self in high school. I could literally, I literally had, I was clueless. I wore such weird hats and just did anything, but everyone is so supportive and the teachers are made amazing. So um, definitely uh, the supportive teachers helped uh, gain my confidence as well. And so I always enjoyed uh, crafts and fashion and working with my hands. So that led me to uh, take the Ivy art class as well as uh, Ms. Carse's sewing and fashion course. Um, the Ivy art course really taught me that uh, storytelling is important uh, to selling your brand and co concept. Um, I always remember Mr. Stark before uh, even thinking of the concept of um, the art ex exhibition, he told us all to create a value map to um, get an understanding of what our passions are and to try to help us narrow down what our uh, theme or what we'd be focusing on that year. And I still go back to that value map. Uh, it's really helped uh, me find what my passions are and what to uh, pursue um, in my career and just in life in general. So that was amazing feedback. And uh, Ms. Kars, um, not just sewing, but she uh, instilled the confidence in myself to apply to uh, the fashion program. So uh, they were, they're very supportive uh, teachers and that they uh, helped lead me to um, applying to uh, Ryerson for fashion. So I attended Ryerson for fashion design um, the school really um, develops your technical school skills for fa the fashion industry, as well as brand and marketing skills. Um, the advice that I would take is really university or college, or even if you're going to job right after high school, just uh, really try to take that opportunity to develop your work-life balance skills. So. Uh, just enrolling in different clubs or even at home, different hobbies. Um, it'll really just um, make your life more enjoyable. And it's just really important to have that uh, work-life balance skills. And also those hobbies or those clubs that you're enrolled in will might lead to uh, different opportunities as well because of that uh, networking uh, opportunity. So while at university, I interned at uh, different jobs like uh, Michael Kors Wholesale, a uh, production uh, facility in Montreal where they only spoke French, so that was interesting, um, and uh, textile, textile design. But it was really great opportunity just to intern in, in different uh, jobs because then you really see what you do and don't like. It's okay if you don't like anything, that's actually even better because you're just one step closer to finding what you're passionate about or what you want to pursue. Um, so here is just examples of the type of work that we did. So we um, create technical sketches, um, inspiration boards, and a final collection, sewing the final collection and the brand. Um, 
So in fourth year, you create a brand um, and you sew that whole collection. Um, it's a grueling, a grueling program for sure, uh, but you definitely learn time management skills um, and also learn to hustle and uh, work hard, which are um, really good skills to have. And also I would highlight that uh, good grades are really important as well because that's what, um, if straight from high school or uh, from university, that's what uh, companies are looking for because it shows your work ethic. Um, and so in university in third year, um, Abercrombie & Fitch comes to uh, recruit every year. And I wasn't really thinking that I wanted to work at Abercrombie, but thought it was just a good opportunity to um, interview with them since they are a large uh, corporation. Uh, so I ended up interviewing for them in third year for the summer internship and ended up getting it. So I uh, went down there for the summer internship and ended up getting the job at Abercrombie um, right after to move there right after graduating. So um, I really just learned that being open to uh, new opportunities is really important just because you don't know, um, if you have your eyes set on one clear path, you're kind of blinded to other opportunities. So just always be open, go to that networking event or um, go to that interview just for the experience and you never know what you're, what's gonna happen. So I went to Abercrombie and worked there for two years as a technical designer um, in the men's and boys tops. So it's basically the uh, fashion engineer. And so a designer would come to us with a design and we would have to figure out how to make that uh, item. So we would create uh, some technical packages. So it's basically like construction, uh, grading worksheets, and technical drawings sim similar to this to then send to uh, companies to get a sample in. And then we would get uh, the samples in and we would uh, fit it on live models just to see the movement, see if it's comfortable, as well as um, what the design designer wanted. We, uh, we basically create the garment to, uh, to what the designer is wanting. So this, we then uh, make uh, adjustments to the pattern and then send it back to the factory um, to make the appropriate, appropriate changes to get the final, final garment. So while at Abercrombie, I, um, it was a two-year, it was a full-time position, but a two-year contract. Um, but when I first started at Abercrombie, a family friend had reached out because he had seen my fourth year cl uh, collection and he was currently working with Parks Canada um, on their merchandising program. And since my final collection was about um, a park, uh, Sable Island, he just wanted to get my perspective um, with, with my fashion degree on what they were developing for Parks Canada. So I knew that the contract with Abercrombie was two years and um, I could have said no, like I, I, was, I was stuck with Abercrombie for two years, but um, I ended up meeting with him and that ultimately led to uh, where I'm at now, a job at Cotton Candy, uh, working with Parks Canada on their, their merchandise program. So again, just being open to uh, different opportunities and uh, networking with people is really key. So Cotton Candy is a promotional product uh, company and our client is Parks Canada. So Parks Canada, uh, we sell merchandise at the national parks and then part of the proceeds go back to uh, the national parks. Um, so I'm the brand and accounts manager for that account. Uh, so I do um, quite a bit, uh, my job is a variety of quite a bit of things. Um, we create the product uh, for the merchandise. So starting at creative direction, we create inspiration boards and uh, set up 
uh, creative direction room, and then from ideation of a sketch to the um, product uh, line drawing. And then um, product development. And then I also do the uh, marketing and social media for them. So anything like creating these fun little videos for the social media platform to creating news uh, e-newsletters and uh, banners for the website. And then we also have different uh, sales opportunities. Uh, so we sell to the retailers as well as um, like Hudson's Bay and third party retailers. So creating um, websites as well as lookbooks to sell the product to. So a bit of sales. And then we also um, redesign some of the stores in the, in the park. So I work with an interior designer who creates these uh, designs and then I order the product and uh, help create visual merchandising diagrams. Um, and I was actually able to fly out for this and um, to Lake Louise and um, visually uh, create this, which was a lot of fun. Um, but so it's a lot of variety in my, in, in my current role, but since it aligns both, both of my passions for the environment and nature, as well as design, it doesn't really feel like it's a job because I love, I love what I do. So I would just recommend trying to find your passion and trying to make that into a job because uh, your career isn't gonna, as other people have said, your career isn't gonna be linear. Um, always be open to other opportunities. So just key takeaways is just that it's okay not knowing what your path is. Um, I know that I always want to know uh, what the future is and that's been a struggle for me, but um, you always have to be open and just um, it's okay that uh, your career path isn't linear. Uh, just work hard, as I said, um, grades are important because if you ever want to pivot um, uh, from one career to the next, you may need your um, high school science uh, courses or like if you're pivoting from marketing or if you're pivoting the other way around too, you'll need the other grades. So grades and working hard is really important, uh, developing good relationships. Because uh, And you always want to leave the door open because you never know uh, when you'll reconnect with that person. Uh, try pursuing your passion or research the type of lifestyle that you want for yourself and try to find a job that would create that lifestyle. And then knowing your worth and it's okay to quit some, uh, something. Uh, just it's one step closer to knowing what you actually do like. And the sky's your limit. So if you have any questions about fashion or marketing, any other detailed questions, uh, feel free to email me. Thanks everyone.